Hey guys, it is Saturday, June 6th, 2015. I wanted to change things up today because I don't have a lot of writing news and I still wanted to do something fun and exciting, so I thought I could give you a tour of my bookshelves. Sound cool? Cool. Let's get started. And that's why I'm on the phone camera, by the way, because I need to be able to move around easily and carrying my laptop to film video doesn't work so well. So let's get started. This is my little bookshelf. It's a little bit dark, but... So, I have DVDs over there, obviously. And then, when you get closer, this is the kind of, like, classic older section. Um, John Green. The Star Won't Go Out by Esther Earle. Um, and then a bunch of other books. This whole section, kind of, like, here on is my, like, inspirational section. Um, obviously I got a lot of inspiration from every book, but that's the, you know, like, uplifting, positive message type of th thing. Um, these are some children's books, and this is the religion section. These are two books I had from school this year. Um, they're really exciting. I'm trying to brighten this up, I'm sorry. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so they had a lot of poems and plays and stuff like that. These are some magazines and a couple of Star Trek things. And then... We can go over to my big bookshelf. So at the top here, I have the manga series I read, Blackbird. It's really fantastic. It's all, these are all 18 books. Um, I really recommend it to anyone who likes the sort of fantasy, supernatural type thing. Um, this is a pile of books I need to read. And then I also have a number of them downstairs from the library. These are CDs. There's a bunch of stuff on those shelves. This is Percy Jackson. This is the 12 book mini, they're, they're like mini books with short stories of each of the doctors from Doctor Who. So that's very exciting. I highly recommend that too. Um, these are like classics. This is kind of like reference. These are like fiction-ish stories, biography type things. I don't, I don't have set organization by like genre or anything um it's books uh peter and the starcatcher series which is next to kingdom keepers because it's the same author um kingdom keepers is fantastic it all takes place in disney world disneyland and one of the disney cruise lines cruise ships sorry so if you're a disney fan i highly recommend that um these are the this is my john barrowman section um, John and his sister Carol wrote a series of, they call them children's books, but I find them to be much, like, very enjoyable for adults, too. Um, this is their Torchwood novel, and then this is my, like, autobiography section. And then you come down to the bottom shelf, which you can kind of see. And this is Harry Potter section. I've got a whole bunch of Harry Potter stuff, and a couple of snitches and stuff like that. Narnia. Hitchhiker's Guide. This is my self-published section. Um, my books, books from friends, things like that. So that's slowly growing, which is really, really cool. I love getting to meet other self-published authors and getting to know them and exchanging work, and it's a lot of fun. Um, the Cell Silverstein. And then these are some little quote books. And then this is a joke book. <laughs> Hidden Mickeys, which is something I do when I'm in the Disney parks. And then reference with the book of lists and um, do things for using my camera. So that's about it. And yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this little behind the scenes tour. I'm looking forward to participating in Camp NaNoWriMo next month. So that should be really, really exciting. I joined a really cool cabin and I'm looking forward to it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And yeah, so that's my biggest writing update. Otherwise, I'm kind of taking a break to uh, refuel and just get my... Uh, get my energy and creativity back. But yeah. So I hope everyone's enjoying their summer. Congrats to anyone who's graduated and good luck in all of your future endeavors. And I hope everyone else is doing well. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye.